Downspout drains are probably the most important yard drain that you can have. They divert all of your roof runoff water away from your home's foundation. Over time, this water can wreak havoc underneath your home. Now, in this short video, we're just replacing a failed downspout drain. It's a single that runs out into the backyard into a cow pasture. This system was poorly installed. Like I said, it's literally just one line. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with PVC SDR 35. Now we have our entire line basically glued up already because it's just one straight trench. So it's a lot easier to glue it outside of the trench than put it down in the trench and get everything leveled out, which you can see we're doing here. If you're a DIYer and you're taking on this project yourself, Always try to use a long sweep 90 for the bottom of your gutter downspout drain. The reason for this is because it will allow debris like leaves and shingle gravel and anything that might get into that gutter trough and make its way down the downspout, it'll allow that to travel through the system a little bit more efficiently. Now, you might run into a situation though where you can't use a long sweep 90 and you have to use a short one. If you do, I wouldn't sweat it. Just put a clean out on it. That way you can put a garden hose in there and flush the system every now and then to be able to clean it out a little bit more thoroughly. Now in this situation here, we were fortunate enough to be able to straight pipe the discharge right into the cow field. A straight pipe discharge is always the best way to daylight a drainage system because it allows water to flow directly out with any debris that it might be carrying. Now, you can't always do that, and I understand that. Sometimes you have to use a pop-up emitter. If you do have to use a pop-up emitter, make sure you get a good one with a turf restrictor plate. That way, the grass doesn't grow over it, and you can always find that discharge end, And as, as well as using a percolation tee so that the water can then drain out of the system once the rain event is over. I'll go ahead and I'll link in the description below uh, how a percolation tee works and how to install one. That way, if you're curious, you can check that video out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. That way I can answer them. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and support us. It really helps us out. And until next time, this is Arrow GS signing off.